Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. Very, very first question is what is Ansible? Right? So if you ask anyone, basically they will say it's a config management tool. So now next question is where is placed? Do you plan? After that, you development. After that, you analyze the code. You build it. After that, unit testing. Package the software. And after packaging, uh, you archive it. After archiving it, deploy to QA environment and later multiple environment. Then we do acceptance testing and then we do the code coverage so plan we use jira development python git and all analysis sonar cube build maven gradle ut unit testing j unit and all packaging we do through packer war file jar file maven is used for packing also archiving we do in artifactory deploy to qa we do through ansible you can deploy to QA and same you can use for reproduction integrations and all and AT and CC. So this is something which we have. So where is Ansible? So Ansible is somewhere in SDLC cycle here. So now question was what is Ansible? So Ansible is a configuration management tool so configuration for what configuration for servers not one or two machines if you have a 20 machines you want to deploy some software into that ansible is good you want to patch operating system ansible is good you want to restart some 20 30 machine services in in that ansibles are good right so if you want to install configure you know anything as such so ansible is good so ansible used to configure servers that's the reason we say configuration management tool for servers okay now they have a multiple release actually so they have ansible which is a one release they have a ansible tower they have awx these are the three release i'm teaching you this one this is more than sufficient it's a command line tool and it is a free this is a ui based tool for that you need to learn command line anyways and it's a paid and this is also ui based tool but it's free so then you will say what is the difference between tower and awx so here no support is there the same version of tower but no support because it's paid its support is there like that now ansible has written in python okay mind it and who's the company who have written the ansible red hat so that is something what you have so using ansible you can manage the configuration management of the server make sense all of you all of you Hello. Hello. Yes, it does. Yeah. So now, next question you will ask why Ansible we need? So, Ansible, if you want to automate the deployment process, you can use any programming language. Let's say you can use Bash script also. You can use PowerShell script also. But Bash, will it work in Windows? no powershell will it work in linux no so we need some cross platform then you will say rajesh python which is a cross platform python is a programming language which will work in the windows and linux both but python java and all is it easy to learn easy to extend text Text test the software. 
debug the software you know extend share it is easy so no so now the the thing has come concept has called dsl dsl means domain specific language so programming language takes some time to you know develop that functionality you know in dsl you can just declare it and everything will be done by the tool so though ansible is written using python ansible is a dsl language not a programming language so easy to learn ansible is easy to learn easy to extend easy to test debug and share <clears throat> on top of that ansible has idiom potency what is our idiom potency so let's say one task if you have and is taking one minute so 10 tasks if you do in one server of course it will take 10 minutes right so if you run next time so using shell scripting if you run it it will take 10 minutes but ansible has a functionality so let's say next time you have only three changes okay next run so it will take only three minutes that means ansible will check remaining seven tasks there is no change and desire dsl yaml file so let's not do the changes so this functionality where tool will check the actual desire and with actual server if there's no requirement for change it will not change so that is called idiom potency functionality which is ansible habit so these are the some of the reasons which we are going for ansible for any configuration management work servers configuration management work deployment and so on now in terms of other tools what we have so ansible is not alone so we have a chef we have a puppet we have a salt we have a cf engine many tools are there but ansible is very popular okay so now this is ansible now next question you will ask how ansible works okay how ansible works so in a, in every architecture you have first thing we are the person we and we talk to acs ansible control server and here we have ars ansible remote server if you want to understand through image so this is us there's one server which is called ansible control server and from here we deploy multiple uh, packages to the remote server so this is one two three four five six this is the remote server ars this can be linux this can be windows but this has to be linux only okay so control server has to be linux 64 bit this can be any here you need to install ansible not required okay. not required that means ansible we call it agentless also so basically you don't have to install anything in ars you understanding guys are you understanding i'm i'm good hello yes right yeah okay so then you will ask what is the communications method which we interact is so acs is always linux ARS if it is Linux, then communication protocol is SSH. If it is a Windows, then WinRM, which is a Windows protocol actually. I mean HTTP protocol actually. So remember that. So what are the prerequisites? So in Ansible Linux server, Python need to be installed. If it is a Linux, again Python. And if it is a Windows, then you need uh, this one PowerShell 3.0 and dot net you know dot net uh, 4.5 so these are the few things which we are using okay so this is the stuff so this is the architecture acs control server ars this is where the software is being deployed 
uh, web server database server and all kind of things and using this acs server you deploy in ars this is you you will play a role of integrations any questions so far Any questions so far, all of you? Any questions so far? No, Rajesh. Okay. So now next thing is, next thing is, next thing is, what is the component? What is the component in Ansible ACS, Ansible control server? So that is important. So guys, when you install Ansible, okay, you get first thing executables, which I'll show you. Let's avoid the spelling mistake. I'm not focusing on this. And then you get Ansible module. And then you get Ansible plugin. And then you get config file. Config file. Okay. So when you install Ansible, you get all this thing. And then second component which we have is inventory. And third component which we have is playbook so we need to understand what is this component executable means ansible executable which you find in the bin folder okay but module what is a module it's a python code okay mind it it's a python code which runs in ars mind it with parameter provided okay that's a Python code which runs in the ARS. For example, copy is one module which is written in Python code, but which is run in the which is located in the ACS, but run in ARS. Means copy module source and destination, something like that. Okay. So what is this plugin actually? The plugin is again a Python code which runs in acs and add a feature feature of ansible okay that means if you want to have any features in ansible uh, we have a built-in plugins but you can install more plugins also okay so this is the things which we have now what is a config file so config file is a file which has parameter to override behavior any any value you want to change behaviors of executable so what happens in executables you have certain values hard coded so you can't change the executables so if you want to override that those executables variables and behavior you can put it in the you can put it in the config file now what is inventory so inventory is a file which contains contains a ip address of ars where you want to display uh, de deploy the software this is the one and here next one is playbook so playbook is a yaml file okay which contains so it's a yaml file mind it it contains two section primarily hosts and tasks okay so now what is a host so host basically it can be a local host that means you want to run uh, the code in the local machine so it can be local host 
or it can be group name mentioned in inventory so here you can have a file which contain ip address and you can have a group actually for this also create a group or all all means when you say all is a group name that means all machines of this file but if you say specific machines so you have to create a group and that group name you have to mention here so what is a task so tasks is nothing but contain module one and its parameter parameter so here module one means look at this here so module is a python code which runs in a ars with parameters so this is the module so module like copy service starting the service copying of files installing the some package or something like that so this is the modules so here this is the module 1 module 2 like that you will write it so guys first you have to install ansible then create a inventory if not then playbook this will contain all the modules which you want to run in this machines and after that you will run it and then things will happen so are you understanding all of you yeah Rish. Uh, i have one doubt like uh, why ansible is more popular than chef and other tools uh, is it because it's a uh, open source or uh... yeah so here Ceph and uh, puppet is also if you use the command line it's open source only but the reason is why it's so popular so you have a 4000 plus modules plus thousand plus rules what is the rules i'll discuss a little bit later but this uh, this basically you know the red hat is very strong in enterprises and red hat has developed this tool so community have developed lots of modules actually lots of modules and because of this are so many modules and and also uh, red hat has very cool close interaction with enterprises for rhl and all so it's become very popular let me tell you it's not like ansible uh, uh, chef and puppet is cannot do the work it can do the work it has a capability but in a community software engineers community this is more popular because of lots of things you can find it easily easy to do that in in ansible compared to compared to chef and puppet so that is the one thing so uh, chef and puppet they use some tcp agent based some tcp port but ansible uses the default ssh port uh, ssh protocols which is easy to implement you don't have to install any agent or something like that so like that but equally all these tools are well capable of doing the things okay understood okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to install the ansible i'll get all this thing i'll create one inventory and playbook so let's do that so i'm creating two machines more or less okay so this is running from just a waste of my money actually here running from last two days and i forgot to shut down okay so i'm creating two machines just for the demo okay so and sybil and after that remind me to destroy this setup others again i'll forget so i'll go for 20 machines uh not so high configurations needed for the um ansible command line so i'll go for small both okay and keep pair you have so many i'll create it because i don't want to search here and there ansible is there ansible sunday i'll create it and the pk file should i create uh i need a pm file back actually but i'm going for ppk because putty will work so anyways i have to convert it which there should be two options actually so I'll, I'll go for ppk okay and then here firewalls i'm selecting the default which is opening everything very dangerous 
but good for the this is okay so here i'll need a two machines same configurations and done So here I'm naming it Ansible A ACS and here I'm naming it Ansible ARS. Okay. So NCS I'll log into this. Now using PPK I can log in, but for server management I need to convert to a PEM. So here credential this one done accept ubuntu now here i'm going to install the ansible so let's do that so install Ansible Ubuntu DevOps tool. So this one will help me saving my time. So here this will help me. This is for CentOS and all. So let me do that quickly. Ubuntu. done so if you look at this ansible has been installed so 2.12 is the latest one only so now let's check it out so here executables where is executable so here if you see that executables are located in user bin so if i do r you see these are the executable ansible executable so today i'll use ansible and ansible playbook somewhere here in this i need it okay so this is the ansible uh which i installed it here now where is the module so it's a python code which runs in ars so modules system modules you'll find in this location okay and if you have developed your own modules you can keep it in these locations also so that is also good plugins uh, you will find in the same location here 
system locations config file you will find here this is the config file so any executables if you want to change the behavior of ansible config file you can write it here so many options are there spend some time with this and this is a full page of executable i mean configuration files here this is the full page so that is a something which you have to work on it so guys any questions so far any questions so far any questions so far no nothing else rajesh um, okay so how to, so now, how to install ansible uh, like uh, it's open source right so from gitlab only we have to install no 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 mm -hmm. this four commands i run no, in order to install ansible and okay done so now inventory so what is inventory it's a file which contain ip address of ars so let me create inventory <coughs> sorry so here i'll create one directory rajesh if i go inside it there's one file which I'm creating inventory and in this file I'm going to list out the IP address of ARS so I have a two ARS so in this machine I'll use it and this machine also I'll use it okay done two machines it can be 200 machines also so that's an inventory file now third thing which we need is playbook and this i need to teach you in some time so guys uh, let me ask you one question if you just want to copy a file in one machine okay, so what you prefer you want to prefer command or script what do you prefer tell me probably a script thing okay good so can we go for the command first because this is a copying file right so i'm not doing too many work actually so can we do the commands all of you yeah sure yeah so guys yes basically we'll do that through command first and then script script means playbook okay so here what is what we call it so this is call it ansible ad hoc commands this is also very powerful okay so how do we learn so first get a project so i'm creating one project set up set up a web server that is a project now don't jump to the ansible very fast first get a project and then create a pseudo code okay pseudo code what is pseudo code step number one install apache to server server in ubuntu step number two install okay uh, copy right copy index dot is this is your package okay to var www html now this path you need to remember that remember that means what i'm trying to say don't jump to the automation directly whatever you got it first do manually and if you understand the manually steps properly then move to automation so here apache is very easy to learn compared to other software like uh, so you have to focus on that so deployment process first you need to learn manually and then do automatically using the ansible so please remember that so that's the path and all i know that so i'm hitting it now step number three step number three start a process start a process of apache 
so these are the three things i'll do it can be in real time 30 steps also okay this is just a project so here we got the project here we got a pseudo code now we have to convert this uh, project and pseudo code into the real commands ad hoc commands so what to do first of all i need to find out the module remember module and this parameter because it is the thing which will run in the remote machine correct so how do you find out this parameter uh, module so here i will go to the google now you can go to a chat gpt also ansible module for installing packages okay now you this so so many modules you got it yum here you got it package generic module apt and other stuff apt will work for me so you know very very first time because i told you very clearly there's a 4000 plus module so this is a way to find out the modules okay so once you come back read it with a peace of mind all this spend time here there's a requirement read it there's a lot of parameters so please uh, go through this don't rush this is the table you should check it out and this module which is apt module which will help you to install the packages in ubuntu uh, so many parameters are there some of them are required some of them are not required that type boolean string integer they are default values so everything you have it actually okay so this is the something you have to spend some time now you will understand this table only and only if you have done the work manually yeah, this is very difficult so yes uh, what i want so apt module what parameters i wanted to give it so here i want uh, based on learnings i want the name of the package uh, it can be apache 2 i know and then state every module will find the state and here you have a sum of the state value absent means uninstall present means install latest default and latest so whatever you want to give let's say state this one so same way you have to go to the cop you have to find out the module for copying a file so copying a file and here there is a module called copy again read through this find out there all the attributes this is required and stuff like that so here module name is copy and copy what you want to copy source logic is source so src from the dex.html and then what you want where destination somewhere on top it was there destination required and here it should go to this locations index.html this you are working on the pseudo code only not writing any code actually and last one starting the services so here module for starting a services and here i got this module and this is the module i'll go through this and here name required so starting a service service module name and name what is a package name apache 2 you should know and what you want you want state what started restarted stopped so i want the started so state is equal to started so this work you have to do offline okay there's no nothing ansible can work so that's the reason i said you need to learn manually the steps then only you will be able to find out the right parameter for each modules are you comfortable with it all of you all of you are you comfortable with it hello yes Ravi. sure okay so now what to do nothing great let me put it in the ad hoc commands this is the commands so here ansible this is the ad hoc commands where you want to run it first local host since so i want to test that code in my host machine and uh, what module you want to run so m and here apt module arguments hyphen a 
and all the parameters you can put it in this one so here done so this is the ad hoc commands we'll install apache in that local host now you'll say rajesh how do you remember all this stuff i didn't remember it's just a practice if you say ansible and here you get all options here which i am used to have so here you have all this option here i use module name and arguments here now here you have uh, authorization options uh, and authentication option authentication options here and here authorization options okay so all this thing you have it here just a practice required so now this is the command now next one is uh, this is the copy module and these are the input parameters we can call it arguments we can call it and the next one is uh, service module and uh, these are the arguments done so my code is ready ad hoc code is ready so first code it should install the apache 2 in local host second one it should copy that index.html which is my package to the desired location third one it should start the services and then we'll validate so here so in this one see here okay here i made a problem state is could be present there's spelling mistake i did it okay and name is package so done so this command will install the package in my local host done you should check that whether it's installed or not changed true means installed now if i run the same one again what will happen look at this change is equal to false so this is called idiom potency uh, once it's done it will not be redone things so now same way you have to run this command but here you have to have index to test ML. so vi index i'm creating package manually welcome save it and run this command done and finally starting these services done so guys i install this here let me check whether installations went successful or not so acs ip address and web server is accessible that means it's working any questions anyone have all of you hello 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 guys i'm out of yes right okay so now i installed in my local host but i need to try in multiple servers right so what i'll use here you have an inventory so inventory is a file which contain ip address of ars so let me <clears throat> run this command so here i will put all i inventory okay so local host i'll remove it so in this command will be common so here this will install this ad hoc commands will run in tens of machines the ip address is mentioned here now what is all so all is a group name here if you might have noticed all is a group name so you can run in the local host or all or some group, custom group so i have not created a any custom group all means all machines of inventory file which is a two right now so can can i run this now same so now it will in my case it will run in two machines but uh, in real case uh, it, in the inventory you can have 50 machines it will run in 50 machines now here this is a problem 
this is the problem so here see here so here what is happening acs is trying to connect to the ars and there's a permission denied issues and fingerprinting issues also so you know that this is a linux behavior nothing to do with the ansible but ansible also do the fingerprinting so can we disable this fingerprinting okay can we do that and this this issues also you need to fix it so when acs is trying to connect to the ars ars then is ssh protocol right so you have to either give username and password or username and key so anything which you are comfortable so you have to give it authentication and authorizations so what to do so first of all i will check this behavior it should not prompt me so how do you do that so there is one option in the configuration file let me show you this configuration file host key checking okay host so by default it is enabled if you disable it it will not work so as a configuration file so vi etc ansible ansible.cfg and here i'll put this and this i'll make it false uncomment that means i'm changing the behavior of ansible now this should be under the section called default okay so i will still not work so default done so i'm changing the behavior of ansible so now if i run it now that error fingerprinting is not uh, prompting but permission denied permission denied issue is coming so how do we solve it so for that i will solve it using hyphen u and username is what is that i forgot ubuntu now i need a password so if you have a password you can specify hyphen k or if you have a key you can provide ansible this one if you have a key so you this this required the pm file because ssh authentications so what to do so let me generate a key so ppk to pem okay so putigen will do that actually so let me do that putigen where is putigen here conversion import and here just give me two second guys Not this avoided. conference will now be recorded okay so now we have a problem with this one so i was converting into the pm file so here i imported it and say private key yes and here save it uh, pm file no 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 say private key once again let me do that Okay, you have to go to this one actually. Okay, export him open. So here, done. No, and save private key. Now, why is taking the wait a second? Import key, I did it, and export. Huh. So here, Ansible. I'll change the extension. It should be .pem. Okay, so done. So now what I will do, I'll upload this key to the site. So here, this is a key here. Node uh, vi node dot pem and done so and then i have to change this permission to ch mode 600 no dot done so now i am going to use the password no, key rather than password 
so node.pm is authentications now here hyphen b i'm going to use for making sudo so now you'll say rajesh where do you get all, all this option so if you do ansible and here you have say here username key name and become in sudo so all these options are there i used it from there so now let me deploy now in the two machines it can be 200 machine depends on the inventory and done so here one machine success taking a little time second machine wait for it done now second activity is also let's do this done and then third activities done now can we check this both the machines so so machine is one machine is here ACS see one ACS and second machine which is I used it done so this is the way you see that using ad hoc command itself you know you can deploy in any number of servers are you understanding all of you Are you understanding? Hello. Yes, Rajesh. Okay, so now what about the groups? So here I said the here in this you can localhost all or group. How do we create a group? So actually you can create a group also. So go to the inventory. If you want to create a group, uh, right now I put it for all but create a group here web where so web is a group now it's like that you can create a more group in the same file and in the group you can keep as many machines you want it so done so now what i have to do after creating group i have to deploy not to all to the group right now only two machines but it can be more machines also done so this is the group that is how you create a group okay so this is the ad hoc commands now next thing is how do we write a playbook which is here this is the how do we write a playbook so this is what i'm going to teach you next any questions so far have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest Thanks for watching.